Something terrible happened last night. Well, I slept very well. Excuse me, Moo Moo, but we're talking about me, not you. Sorry, Rita, but since we're always talking about you, I thought that for once I could be the center of attention and we could talk about me. The two of you need to stop talking about yourselves for a change. It's always me this or me that. It's time you learn that the world doesn't revolve around you. Sorry, Alfred, but it's because I think that I'm important and because of that I and only I... Wait, I forgot what I was saying. Anyway... Enough about me. What do you think of me? You'll never learn. I think I'll go for a walk. I can't stand any more of this. Good morning, Mr. Snail. Where are you going? Good morning. I'm on my way to the lake to look for some water. But the lake is far away. Do you have to travel that far every day? Yes, every day. I go back and forth to the lake. It takes a long time to get there and even longer to come back because I come home carrying water for my family. It's what I do all day. Go back and forth, same thing every day. So why don't you move your house closer to the lake? I'd love that, but my house is so big I can't move it. I can only move the little house that I always carry on Hello, my back. Hello, Mr. Snail. My name is Rita, and my friend Moo Moo and I are going to help you. Me? I mean, I... I can't because I have to... Don't worry, Mr. Snail. You'll see that we are going to help you. It's just a minor detail, Rita. And here I was thinking that you only thought about yourselves. Alfred, we are going to show you that we're really nice and that we don't only think about ourselves. We also really like helping others. Yeah, that's right. We help everyone. Rita... Who needs our help? Mumu, Mr. Snail has an injured crawler and has to go to the hospital so that they can give him six shots. Huh? What? There's nothing wrong with me. I'm out of here. <laughs> Don't be afraid, Mr. Snail. It was just a joke. Let's go to your house and you'll see that everything will be just fine. Tell us where it is and we'll follow you. My house is right in the middle of a field of flowers. Let's get going. Mr. Snail, whenever you want, you can start moving. I've already been moving for a while. Rita, aren't we moving too slowly? At this rate, we won't even get there by tomorrow. So what do you want me to do? This snail is moving slower than a sleeping turtle. Mr. Snail, why don't you climb up onto my ear so we can move along a little faster? Sounds good to me, but I don't know if I can handle that kind of speed. Here we are. This is my home. Welcome. It's very pretty. Where's your family? My family is visiting their grandparents. They'll be back next week. They'll be so happy when they see that we've moved near the lake. So now we just have to get everything ready to go and then move the house to the lake. I'll put myself here in the middle, and you all decide what's the best way to take me. I'm not sure how we can do it. It seems easy, but we have to do it very carefully. Why don't we just put the house on top of a log, and Rita and I will carry it. What a great idea! Rita, you take that log on the ground. Moo Moo, you put the house on it. Now all you have to do is pick it up and we can go! Hey, Mr. Snail! Is everything okay? Everything's perfect, thank you! From up here, I have a great view, and I love the speed. Don't worry. You're going to see how soon you'll be in your new home. Here we are. Now, you have to decide where you want us to put your house. Some place that's near the water, but well protected. Let's see. A special place with a nice view and well protected. We could put it right behind that rock. 
That looks good to me. Uh. Thank you for everything. Rita, I'm so tired. I want you to carry me home. But Moo Moo, today we did such a good deed for Mr. Snail. Not exactly. You helped out Mr. Snail, but I helped you out. So get ready, my friend, to carry me home on your back. I don't think so. All right, Moo Moo, I'll carry you, but you'll have to make a big jump to get on. Are you ready? I was born ready. All right now, one, two, three. Ah! Ow! Oh, you two, some things never change. Moo Moo, uh, this morning I saw something you're not going to like. What did you see? I'm afraid to tell you. Uh, since last time I told you about such a thing, uh, you got a little hysterical. Rita, don't be silly. There's nothing that you have seen that can make me hysterical. However strange it may be. Go on, tell me. As you wish. Mumu. Uh -huh. This morning in the woods, I, I saw a rat. What? Please help me! I told you you'd become hysterical. I'm not hysterical. I'm not hysterical. I'm not hysterical. I just felt like standing up. Are you sure you're not afraid to touch the ground? No, of course not. So then, if I made you touch the ground, nothing would happen to you? You wouldn't do that, <laughs> would you? No, Rita, don't do that. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do it. Help me, please. A rat! Uh. 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 See, I shouldn't have said anything, Moo Moo. It was only a rat and it was in the woods. You know we told them that you're afraid of them and to please not come out. It's been years since any rats have come around here. Uh. Come on, there's nothing here. Don't be silly. I have no intention of going anywhere. As you wish. I'm gonna have a snack with the others. Hello, Rita. What were all those screams that we heard? It was Moo Moo who got hysterical when I told her there was a rat in the woods. Oh. But you know very well that Moo Moo's afraid of rats. Why did you even mention it? Ow! I thought she wouldn't be afraid of them after so many years. You know what? We need to do something so that she's no longer afraid of rats. Well, what can we do? We can do the following. We can transform the car into a rat and make it chase Moo Moo until she gets tired. So tired that she can't take it anymore. Then the rat car will slowly approach Moo Moo until Moo Moo just has to accept that she's no longer afraid of rats. Mm, that seems a bit cruel to me. Yeah, I know. You'll see how cool this is going to be. Let's see what happens. of being on top of this slide for so long, I think I'd better get down now. But what happens if a rat comes? But on the other hand, it's been years since I've seen a rat. I think Rita just told me that to frighten me. I've decided. I'm getting off now.
Just do it. Just do it. But quit following me because I can't take another step. Wait just a minute. You've been following me this whole time and haven't done a thing to me. Well, what kind of rat are you? I thought you were going to bite me. Hello, Mumu. What are you doing on the ground? You're not going to believe this. There was a rat chasing me and I thought he was going to eat me. But when I stopped running, he didn't even touch me. So you are no longer afraid of rats? Well, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 